Hey guys, what's up? It's Gabby here in my craft room, ready to explore. Hope you can join me and have some fun. Alrighty, today I have scooped up all of my purple metallic paints that I found in my craft room um, to have a good time comparing today and seeing if they vary, how they vary, how they work, and what they can bring to the table. No pun intended. So without further ado, we are going to start swatching. First row is going to be one coat of paint on the stars. Second row is going to be two coats. And in the third row, we're going to stamp with the paint the star image. They're all multi-surface, essentially, because they're acrylic paint, so it's like pretty good to go. Um, as far as pricing, I would say you want to look in your local craft store. And the truth is, the pricing is variable, because depending on how long after you I've posted this video, you see it, and if you can get coupons, you know, from these places, then, for example, the Viva Decor shows up as the smallest, but also, like, one of the most expensive bottles at 0.8 ounces for, like, a good price, a good, a good amount of money, but, um, you know, I got them cheaper at Joanne's on sale, and so I got them half that price, so they really didn't turn out to be as bad, and they're very professional quality, they really last, and they go far, so, um, just keep that in mind when you're looking at pricing and stuff, don't dismiss anything out of hand till you know if you can get it at a discount somewhere else. I do want to mention that the Jacquard Lumiere paint and the Viva Decor precious metal paints do tend to go on a little bit darker um, and dry lighter than what they go on as, but like very slightly. So in case you had that thought in mind, I just wanted to let you know about that. As far as the paper I'm going to use, it is um, Michael's brand for the black and white paper and a cereal box for the craft paper. So he try to, you know, get the most bang for your buck here. And feel free to experiment on any other kinds of surfaces and paper to see what you come up with. And let me know if you find something interesting there. I wonder how it would be on like a Yupo paper, for example, or photo paper, you know? So for stamping, we want to take our paint, take any kind of uh, spatula that we may have, and just like even just dip it in the paint because a little goes a long way, and then just kind of lay it out on your mat and get all that off and swipe that. Delicious looking. Okay, and then you take your designated stamp on a block. Um, rubber or plastic is fine or I should say polymer. Uh, all right, now you just kind of tap it down on there and then voila, you go for it. Okay, there's that on the black. See, and it comes out pretty nice. You just want to make sure you don't have like a smushing of like a, a glob of paint all over the place. I'm gonna go in for the next one. And voila. And one more. Whoops, excuse the crashing. Of course, things have to fall only while I'm recording. And you get a beautiful golden star. Okay. Alrighty, there you go. That is how you stamp. And then you just want to make sure to um, either wash or use a paper towel. Or I have one of these car, car sponge type things that is really absorbent. And you're good to go. You just don't want to wait too long to wipe the paint off of your stamp. Here we are at the end, finally, of all this watching. I am going to run through the different thoughts I had on each of the paints, and they all reacted slightly differently on the black, white, and 
uh, craft cardstock, which is actually, shh, don't tell anybody, haha, <laughs> a cereal box, I know, right? It's cheaper, so there you go. That was my motivation there. Okay, so we'll start at the top. Um, earlier in the video, I did have it mislabeled, so I pointed, I did point that out, and you'll see on there where it, it says that um, these two colors got mixed up, but here is how they actually look and the actual colors associated with them, so that shouldn't be too problematic. All right. So the first ones were the color shifts. Again, let me just grab them out. Whoa, that was almost a really bad crafty s situation there. I, like that was actually open. Whew, okay, breathe. Cool, okay, now that they're properly closed, this is like safety hazard here, people 101. Okay, so here they are up here and here. Actually, it's like the two, two, and two. That's what they look like on different colors. Okay, basically I would say that for what they look like in the bottle, the true it shows up the truest on the white, um, definitely. And here I'm just zooming in. Again, you know, it's. I just want to say also that everything stamped really well on all of them. All the stars stamped, stamped and showed up super, super nicely. So you can always stamp with your metallic paints, which gives, you know, which is, it, it goes beyond your ink. You have so much more... So that's also just like a way to extend your paints into another whole other realm. And um, the metallics are just gorgeous. Like, woo, they just pop. It's crazy. Okay. And you know, like with metallic inks, it costs more money for those ink pads. But the paint is just painted. You could you could paint with it um, as far as materials that you can paint on. I'm just showing paper today for cra for card making. But they go on. Um, I looked up and like they all go on multi. They're all multi-service paints, acrylic. In general, sticks really well to just about anything. Um, if you want to do some kind of outdoor work, you may want to just check the specific paint for how well it weathers. Um, but for like just journaling, card making, scrapbooking, this will work really well. It won't rub off. Um, if you're going to do it on a non-porous surface like a plastic, I'd say maybe apply a layer of clear black or white gesso. And depending on your needs and what look you want, um, so that it will stick well. I would definitely recommend that for those kind of surfaces. Um, even wood, if you want to have more, like more ability to have the color smear versus just soak right in, then you would use gesso also. Okay, so um, again, that was the color shift. I'd say that on the white, it's the truest. On the craft, it brings out like uh, in general with all of them, the craft brings out like a secondary, like the sheen color, like that's embedded in the paint. Um, so you want to, so it's going to come out a little different. You always want to kind of test that out and swash it. But I noticed that it brings out a lot of the sparkle. Like, see, those bottom ones are really sparkly. It's, it's there on the other ones. I guess it's there. It, these, well, these two happen, these two different ones happen to be very sparkly, but that's besides the point. <laughs> okay. So many thoughts going on a tangent. Hope you guys are following along. Um, okay. So the color shift ones, they were the most unique paint, I'd have to say, in that they are very color shifty. Um, they're shifty paints. Beware. Um, see, like, here is a, like, indigo, light blue kind of, and here it's totally, like, golden. And here it looks blue, and on there it looks, um, purple. So, you know, and it kind of, it's, like, in between on these ones. There's definitely more gold, though, on that. The blue-violet is kind of a gold-looking. Um, as far as folk art... The next one, the uh, metallic line. So they are nice. They're nice. They work. They're metallic. So here they are. Let me just show you. It's these two. And I'm going to kind of let that sit there for a second. And then here they are on the black. Do, 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 do. That they bring out the silver on the black really much so. And then here it is on the craft. Here are these, uh, these two. So... I would say the amethyst definitely brings out more silver, and the plum is still like more of the purple that you can see. Um, they were nice. They were middle of the road, and they also happen to be the cheapest. So if you want the best bang for your buck, not including coupons, just going by regular price, then this is a really good deal for the two ounces bottles. Um, okay, the Prima Prima Sparks paint. I just love them. They have like like really high pigment low. They really stick well. They're really like they cover well. Um, and it has, like, a really pretty shine, metallic shine. Also, like, it does have, like, a sparkle, like a kind of sparkle to it, more than some of the other paints. Let me show you on black. 
there we go it's really pretty sheen and here it is on the craft all right now the cosmic shimmer i'd say was the most distinct of all of them as you can see these all kind of have shimmer this one is a very subtle shimmer i'm not going to say it doesn't have metallic because it does it definitely does see here on the black it shows up more and then on the white it also shows up it's just um it's just a more subtle matte shimmer it's and it but it also holds true to like a very strong purple whereas some of them kind of have a lot of like other colors kind of construing them like mix mixed in there and this is really pure of color so like again depending on what you want to work with if you're not if you don't want so much woohoo then that's definitely a good way to go um I wanted to just quick mention as I'm thinking about it too the opacity of some you know what I'll do that afterward quickly on them all so okay the Lumiere um, Pearl Violet is very beautiful it's it's just middle of the road I'd say in terms of sheen and sparkle and metallic and whatever there it is and again um, let's go to the black Lumiere and don't forget these are one color coat and this is two coats Okay, so there's that, and then Lumiere over here, it's got some silver showing through on there. Okay, now we're going to go to Viva Decor, Purple and Violet. I'm going to I'm gonna be honest, I really think that they're very close in color, like so close that if you just had to pick one, just, you know, take your shot at it. On almost all of them, they look like almost, it's very interchangeable, so I would say like whichever one you want to go with. Okay. Um, and they are awesome. They, I would have to say, are the most sparkly of them by far. They are also the most smelly, so it's not like overwhelming. It's just, ugh, I definitely pick up a scent, you know. None of them were like, you know, I'm going to faint from it, but yeah. Um, okay, so fine. That's the, like, the basic gist. Now, like I said, the cheapest is the Folk Art Metallic line. The most unique I would have to give to the color shift because it's got, like, dual colors. Kind of got more bang for your buck, but you also have to be careful what you use it on because you never know what color you're going to get. And I recommend always swatching it out before on something else before you actually do it on the prized item that you're going to color. Um, now, most sparkly is the Vive Decor, and the most subtle is the Cosmic Shimmer. Okay, we've got all that stuff done. Um, in terms of opacity, the color shifts, you can definitely see through them. Even with two coats, the star that I stamped underneath is very visible. Same thing with the folk art. This one's a little less visible, but the top four, all the folk arts, the folk arts are basically uh, trans, translucent from what I can see on any of, the, any of them. Um, uh, on the craft, I'd have to say that it does hide it better. So, like, the folk art metallics are actually with a second coat not visible they are not visible so i guess it again depends on the surface you can play around with that um all the other ones are opaque on the craft as far as the white um the cosmic shimmer also has like you can it's still showing through yeah on both coats um with prima sparks the first coat you can see through the star vaguely and the second coat it's like totally totally covered like there's no messing around um i don't think it doesn't yeah it doesn't really pick it up on video but you can see a slight ghost image of the star here so and but by the second coat it's totally gone and then the last three are pretty strong in terms of coating they are all opaque there's no messing around with them like you're cover you're you're like a first coat there's like slight 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 hint but second coat there's you know they do their business and it's all good to go so that is my review of the purple metallics i hope y'all enjoyed my little crafty exploration with with you and um you can go into the store better aware of what you want out of your metallics